Hello and thanks for joining me on another episode of a deep dive into the TV series Elementary. Luckily, we have done episode one as a pilot and I wanted to cover a bonus episode. We're not going to go straight on to the episode two of Elementary. We're actually going to do a slight review and a review of the house itself, the New York pad for Sherlock and Watson. So join me in today's episode where we look at the brownstone, the new 221B Baker Street. Not really the new, but a replacement of in the New York edition of this episode. I wanted to cover this to basically set the scene because this is the key location which brings everything together. Sherlock is an episode where, well, Elementary is an episode, a series where it brings together Sherlock Holmes and Watson and their brain location. So this is where everything basically happens. Well, majority of everything happens, which lets them break into cases. The Brownstone is a residence located in New York City. It's actually a real place at 42 Stanford Avenue, Brooklyn, New York. It's uh, the home for Holmes and Watson, as well as Clyde. Don't forget, we're quite early in the season at the moment, so you won't know who Clyde is if you've not seen it. I would recommend watching the series just so you know who I'm referring to when I say Clyde. Might shock you. It uh, was owned by Sherlock's father. So Sherlock's father is Moreland until it was willed to Sherlock who then willed it to Watson at a later point in time which we have yet to look forward to that. There's loads of amazing little things that happen in the brownstone that I really enjoy. The little, uh, well I won't spoil it for you. Well yeah you listen to this so you will get lots of spoilers of what's going on in the episode but I wanted to give you an overview of the brownstone itself. Let's have a look at that and actually see what is going on there. So yes, the brownstone is CBS Elementary. And that's basically a location they use. It's an iconic location that has played an essential role in the series. The brownstone, amazing name for it. The brownstone is a key location in the television series. And it's the main location for residents of Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Joan Watson, located in the bustling city of New York. The brownstone boasts a classic exterior that exudes a sense of elegance and prestige. It's definitely a nice London type environment. The houses, the way it's made, it gives you that uh, London type feel to it location. So it's definitely interesting. The interior of the brownstone is intrigued intricately designed intricately designed reflecting the characters elastic tastes and you'll know what i mean by that and refined sensibilities antique furnishings through the series it slowly starts to get furnished out so you'll actually see it being slowly built out when you first look at it it's like a bit of a shell but as time passes slowly things start making it into the uh, sherlock um home if you watched BBC Sherlock, you'll know that had like that nice, comfortable fireplace feel to it from nearly the outset. Because I think what they showed in the BBC version of Sherlock was it was already set up. Because obviously in that version, uh, Sherlock is looking for a companion to sub-rent the house with. And he brings Watson to show him the location. This is the BBC Sherlock I'm talking to, referencing. And there they come in and like most of the things are already there. And... Uh, Watson even says, oh, we'll get rid of this junk and then we'll move in. And Sherlock is like, oh, Benedict Cumberbatch. He's like, wait a minute, oh, I, I, we've already moved in. I've moved my stuff in because I thought you're here. So the rubbish that Watson thought was rubbish was in fact a lot of Sherlock's belongings. So he had that environment set to a specific way. In this series, Elementary, it slowly builds out, actually. It's the opposite of the BBC Sherlock. So over time, he accumulates things and you're part of the journey as a viewer. You see it being becoming the hub for both Joan and uh, Watson, yeah, Joan Watson and Sherlock. So uh, antique furnishings and tasteful artwork adorn the walls as each case is solved. Normally um, Sherlock 
will keep something back so you'll slowly see the walls being filled up with things to make it just uh, relevant to his series and the main living uh, room features a stunning mantelpiece that adds a touch of grandeur to the space the abode also has an array of interesting curios uh, that hint at homes uh, past and experiences the walls are lined with bookshelves that hold a vast collection of books and reference materials reflecting homes extensive knowledge and a wide range of subjects from forensic science to obscure literally re literary references in addition to his aesthetic appeal the brown's room is also a highly functional and technologically advanced space it boasts state-of-the-art equipment that aids the characters in their investigations and cases of crimes the dwelling serves as a mm, sanctuary for the characters he refers to it as his own dua i'm gonna uh, i need to find that let me find that there's an exact way he refers to it which is very interesting i did a quick search to actually find that but i think it might come in later episodes where i'll hear it and i'll write it down but he basically refers to his own sanctum or his like mind palace and you know when the security cameras are there and he's like he's very worried that someone's coming to his house and he's like how can someone come into our house and also every time watson or homes into the house they always double lock their door behind them i noticed that in the film in the series and that was very interesting i was like oh wow okay so yeah there's something that we need to put a, a note on that we need to check there's a certain way he refers to his home and it's very interesting i like how he refers to it. it's like a, a collection of a couple of words but we'll we'll keep this for a later episode so yeah so it's a main location and it is beautifully designed and functional space because you've got the walk through between the house you know what shall we have a look at the breakdown of the actual um house itself because we're looking at not really deep diving but we're looking at the the house itself the brown stone so as we mentioned it's the, the main key location and the actual venue is 42 stanford avenue and it was uh, until it revealed it to moreland is uh, Sherlock's father we find that out in later seasons and it, it's a big um, part of the, the episodes especially being the main house the layout of the house itself you've got a number of locations you've got the basement which normally later on we discover that becomes um, Joan Watson's kind of temporary office you've got your first floor you've got a second ground floor a third and fourth top floors the back door the rooftop which is actually an amazing place where he does his beekeeping and there's loads of little uh, nuggets around this so watson established her office in the basement and that was like slowly as you move through the episode you'll notice that that happens and also he has things in his uh, stores items in the basement like a box of swords there's also the mo uh, motorcycle stored under the stairs uh, for brownie points do you know what type of motorcycle he has under his stairs in his basement let's see if you're as good as you are and then of course the first floor being the main type living area with the kitchen the bedroom and then the first floor it has uh, referred to as a garden floor plants can be seen outside the kitchen window and um yeah so again remember when the moriarty comes into play you'll notice that one of the rooms is used for moriarty there as her bedroom temporary room and yeah I, I enjoy that layout of the house it's got a nice feel to it as time passes they use the furniture in different ways so when um minecraft comes over he makes uh, he cooks in the kitchen and he uses that big uh, desk as he's like cutting desk and the second floor is where the, the library and several workrooms are on the second floor which contain the main entrance so one of the workrooms usually contains metal racks with homes locks on there and this is an interesting view of the entire space and how nice and open it was as well as the the extra little things that appear throughout the series we'll, we'll visit this back and forth and then we've got additional rooms which are like the third and fourth top floors so where he's got his room where watson will be living with the, like the bed as well as the the tv room so you know we've got the five different tvs that he looks at just to catch up the bathroom where they basically brush their teeth and all sorts of other interesting things happen there as well as the back door where people will leave things for him like newspaper and stuff the amazing bit is the the rooftop however though that is just the next level that's like a whole new level of space so it's definitely an expensive piece of property uh, in that location so it's uh, in brooklyn 
on the show. The exterior of the building is shot in Harlem, New York City, with interiors shot at Silver Cup Studios in Queens. The roof is a real rooftop in New York City and located on a parking garage at the corner of 10th Street and 44th Avenue. That's an interesting one. I picked this up from the Fandom CBS Elementary website. And yeah, very interesting and uh, loads of things happen there. I think it was worth having this short little episode today just to give you an idea of the brownstone itself. An amazing place. And I would like to say thank you for listening to this episode, uh, which is accompanying my season one episode and where we deep dived. We will be looking at season two. I have put out a, a call for any action notes that you want to discuss in there. I've got a brief layout and I will see you in my next episode.